Hey guys, in this video I want to share all my knowledge about auto insurance. I've had the cheapest insurance, I've had expensive insurance and I will try to explain you everything I know about auto insurance and what to look for when you are looking for auto insurance. Let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Kush. I've been living here in the United States for almost four years and during these four years I've had two cars and I had two different uh, insurance. I've had the cheapest one and now I have a premium one. So I'll go in details what you should know and what should what you should avoid. So when I came here after a year I bought a car. My, my first car was Mazda 3 2009. I bought it cheap for around two thousand dollars. I had to do some uh, some maintenance on that car. I, I love working on, on cars so I bought it cheap and I uh, probably spent around a thousand or fifteen hundred to repair everything that uh, needed to be repaired. And I did it and uh, okay let's say it uh, in total it it cost three thousand five hundred dollars and to get insurance at that time I was 21 years old. At 21 years old, uh, no matter what insurance you get, it is pretty expensive. You get liability or full coverage, it is still expensive. Looking at, the, at that car, that car doesn't doesn't worth to have, uh, for example, full coverage, right? And that's why I was looking for liability. Liability uh, insurance is the insurance when you hit another car then your insurance will pay to them and will not cover anything to you uh, to yourself so that's why it is called liability when you hit someone they pay it to them and uh, you won't you won't get anything if you hurt yourself it's all your problems and that's why liability costs uh, a lot cheaper than premium but you have you have to understand that it will not cover anything to yourself. And of course, as my Mazda 3 was was not worth to have a full coverage, so I got liability and every month I paid uh, around $100. $100 is is uh, cheaper than I could I could get because I joined my friend's policy. So he had a policy, he was uh, more than 25 years old and he added me to his policy and uh, I paid $100 every month. This is pretty cheap comparing my uh, age, my zip code where I live and my car, it, it is pretty cheap. If I got liability only insurance by myself, it would cost around $250, which is a lot because my age is uh, really young and uh, my zip code is uh, Curry town like close to downtown LA so it's pretty busy area and what happened is I paid for almost two years and uh, at that time when I got my insurance my I got my car I started driving for a lift and uh, after two years September 2020 I uh, got uh, into accident and in that accident, it was not my fault. I was driving on the freeway and traffic in front of me, they uh, stopped, so I stopped fully. And boom, from somewhere, BMW i8 rear-ended rear me. It was a really, really, really bad accident. And there were six cars involved in that accident, which is crazy. And uh, after I got out of the car, the car was totaled. I could see that it doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere. I might put pictures so you can see it and there everything uh, started to open up about insurance first of all my insurance didn't cover anything and it won't cover because it is liability even though it is not my fault they won't cover they won't cover anything and the problem is that that BMW i8 that rear-ended me there were two people driving that car and they left the car and immediately they took off. No one saw them. They, uh, no one knows who they are. And uh, I had to pay for, for uh, to tow my car. And here is the interesting part: towing, towing a car 
people cost a lot of money, especially on highway when you have to move your car. You cannot put it there, so you have to move your car, or you will, or your insurance will pay for it, or you will uh, pay it yourself. As my insurance didn't cover that, it was liability only, and I had to pay out of my pocket, and I had to to tow it to where I live. So I put it on the street at least, because if they tow it to a tow, towing yard, they will charge around seventy dollars every day for keeping my car in their uh, towing yard. So that was not the case. Uh, that was not something that I wanted. So I towed it uh, to my uh, where I used to live, and I don't have specific. I didn't have specific parking spot, so I parked it on the street, and I paid for that towing. Three hundred forty-two dollars. It was like four miles from where the impact was. Just imagine, three hundred forty-two dollars for four miles towing my car. That is total. I cannot use it. I cannot do anything with it. And insurance will not cover it. In this case, if you had full coverage, you didn't have to worry about anything. They tow it to the towing yard. Your insurance will handle it for you. Okay. If they tow it to your to your place, your insurance will handle it. They they will take the uh, all insurance information, and you are good to go. You don't need to worry about anything. There are also another thing uh, that you can add, even if your insurance will not cover uh, towing. If you had triple A uh, membership, then they would tow it for free. The membership costs around sixty dollars per month, uh, oh no, per year. Yeah, sixty dollars each year I believe so in that case I didn't have anything so I, I paid out, out of my pocket and uh, when I put it there it was COVID and uh, there were no street cleaning nothing so it stayed there for for a few months and uh, thankfully thankfully I was driving for lift and I had a passenger in my car and the process for getting something covered at least for my medical bills the lift should lift uh, company should pay it for me I have a lawyer and everything is going but imagine if I didn't have if I was not uh, driving for lift so I wouldn't receive anything because that a driver who drove a BMW that hit me his insurance will not cover it because they told uh, they told the police that I mean they told that they don't know who was driving the car and the person who whose name is on the policy was not driving that car so basically they will not cover anything so they got out of all the responsibilities but it was their fault okay if, when they, they don't cover anything, they won't pay me anything, so I am screwed totally. I lost my car, I had to to go to chiropractor and all those medical bills, and I have to buy a new car because I drive for a living. But it won't cover anything, anything at all. And for two years I've been uh, paying for insurance for what? As in these moments it won't cover it. Yeah, I understand this. It is liability only. So, this is the biggest, biggest cons of having liability. I understand that paying full coverage is a lot, especially for a car that costs uh, thirty-five hundred dollars. But this is uh, these things you should consider. You should think about. You should be ready for it. Okay. After after that, after a few, uh, after a month, I think after. Uh, month after uh, that uh, accident I, uh, I bought a car uh, I got a loan and uh, I bought a car Toyota Camry Hybrid 2014 and uh, I had to get full coverage because I, I'm I, it is a loan so I had to, to get full coverage and I started going through everything every companies and uh, seeing their their codes what they uh, Tell me how much it would cost. Here's the thing: when you are getting full uh, full coverage, what I understood is go with uh, well-known companies like Progressive, 
uh, state form, call state, old state, or something like that. There are a lot of, of trusted insurance companies. Go with them. There are millions of other um, insurance that will tell you it will be really cheap for you. Don't believe because when you get in the accident, it is not a fact that they will cover everything that they told you on the policy. So just screw them. Go with the well-known insurance companies. And I started going through all of them and it was crazy expensive, like 380, 400, 500, and even uh, some of them, they told me like $560 per month for full coverage. That's crazy expensive. That's, <laughs> that's really crazy expensive. Can I say anything else? At that time I was 22 years old and uh, I found Progressive and I started going through their uh, menu options and under understood a few things about getting auto insurance. And uh, in, in this video, as I said, I will go deep and let me record my screen and I will go through everything that is included and everything that you can include or exclude from your uh, policy coverage and uh, every, everything that you include or exclude will affect how much uh, every month you'll pay I'll, I will say right now I'm paying $283 every month for full coverage it is pretty expensive but it all depends it all because of my age I'm 23 pretty young and sorry and uh, my zip code so here's a recording no sound start recording and the first thing that uh, you will see when you when you go through everything is body injury and property damage liability so the state minimum for California for example is 15,000 each person 30 each accident 5,000 5,000 each accident okay so this is the minimum that you can get that you should get in order to have insurance in, in order to not have any problem with DMV so in this case I chose 25,000 for each person 50 each accident you can go um, you can go more even to 100,000 to 150,000 but it will it will your monthly payment will be higher so here the thing that you should consider you can choose which one you want to pay and when you go through everything, you you, know, you want to put it and see how monthly payments will uh, will get different. If it is like five ten dollars uh, each month, it's not a big deal. So you can get um, more. I mean, you can choose fifty thousand dollars or hundred thousand dollars. Okay, I chose twenty five to fifty thousand. This is something that really was not that expensive to add on my monthly payment. And after, after that, you have an option to choose uninsured motorist. So uninsured motorist means that when someone hit your car and they don't have uh, insurance, your insurance, your insurance will cover it. So here's the thing. If you don't choose uninsured uh, motorist, okay, there is no coverage. And you don't, you won't, if you didn't add anything else, just by the injury and property damage, it cost it will it will be called liability so this is the insurance that I had before right liability only when you hit someone insurance will pay them they won't pay you anything so you are screwed but if you choose for example an insured motorist as um, as my uh, body injury I chose 25,000 to 50,000 and here's we have another option to add medical payments thousand each person 10,000 each person I didn't cover it you can add it to your policy and see how your monthly payment will be after that we have comprehensive comprehensive deductible so it means comprehensive basically means that if your car is part and there is a fire or a building fell down and it hit your car maybe your car is totaled or whatever you had severe damage to a car but you were not driving another car there was not another car that hit you maybe there was a fire that burned you know, your whole car your comprehensive deductible is the amount that you will pay in order 
for insurance to kick in and uh, help you to repair your car or pay off uh, the money or pay off uh, the cost of your car. The deductible can be uh, can be different. If you have, for example, two thousand five hundred dollars deductible, it will be a lot less uh, paying every month. So that's why when you choose, for example, $100 deductible, your monthly payment will be higher. But in this case, I chose 500 because it's not as low and it's not as high. And collision. Collision deductible is uh, when, when uh, some car hit your car, right? And where you scratch your car, you hit something, something happened right and uh, you want to go to body shop and, and repair it you have to pay your insurance deductible in this case I chose $1,000 so if I am in a small accident for example and I go to the body shop I have to pay my insurance $1,000 in order for my insurance to kick in and cover the rest of it okay when you choose, for example, $2,500 deductible, it means that if something happened, you have to pay $2,500 for your insurance to kick in, then your monthly payment will be a lot lower. That's why when people, your friends, maybe they will tell you, they will tell you that, oh, your uh, monthly payment for insurance is, is expensive. I pay, for example, $150. When you ask them what what is your deductible, they have no idea what their deductible is. But when they go to the body shop or uh, contact their insurance, then they will find out that they have to pay twenty five hundred dollars upfront in order for their insurance to kick in. If you pay a little bit more, but you know your deductible, you know that it is um, a lot less, then you are good to go. In this case, for my collision, I chose one thousand dollars deductible. It didn't. I have a huge uh, impact on my uh, monthly payment and they go more I ensure the motorist collision deductible vapor it means that uh, if st if a car that hit you doesn't have uh, insurance coverage so you can waive deductible so it means that I have 1000 deductible for collision right and I choose 1000 deductible vape so it means that I won't pay anything, my insurance will kick in immediately. Okay, this is the thing uh, that means here. And okay, let's go to no coverage as I had it. And then rental reimbursement. It means that when your car is in the body shop, how much per day your insurance will pay you to get a rental car. You can choose thirty each thirty dollars each day, forty dollars each day. It all depends on you what you want to choose. And I, in this case, I have no coverage. I might uh, rethink it, and I might get it back. Road assistant, you can have a coverage or not coverage. So road assistant, it means that if you are you have a uh, flat tire, or maybe you are out of uh, fuel, maybe you you need uh, to jump start your car. This is included in your. Um, insurance so if you select it of course then you call your insurance you say that I have a problem with the flat tire they will send you someone to to fix it for free and the next one is custom parts or the equipment valued how much it will valued my car doesn't have anything uh, aftermarket so I don't have any anything crazy in my car so I could include it here but for example if you have if you you, you modified your car for, uh, for around five thousand dollars for example you add here five thousand dollars because you modified uh, you modify your car and you want your insurance to cover it in the case you are in the accident okay but in this case I, I have nothing so I'll, I'll go zero lease loan, loan or lease payoff this is something are pretty important even though I have gap insurance which gap insurance means that if uh, I what if my car is totaled I'm in an accident and my car is totaled gap insurance will pay my uh, uh, pay the bank the amount uh, money that I owe okay and here also 
I have uh, I have selected loan or lease payoff because uh, before before I refinance my car, I uh, I didn't have a gap insurance, so I chose uh, selected so that they, they will pay back 25%. I think the bank when if, if the accident happens so basically this is everything that you need to know uh, about other insurance what you want to include or exclude it all depends on what kind of car you have and uh, what uh, monthly payment you, you want to get so I will st stop screen recording and uh, also it's really important to have um, a long drive, driving history when you are young like uh, like me for example and you don't have uh, many years of driving experience be ready that your insurance will be a lot higher than uh, average okay and also uh, when you get when you're young and you buy a pretty expensive car of course your insurance will be higher because the car is more expensive and you are more risky for insurance companies and uh, I hope that all this information was helpful to you so that you could go by yourself and see all those quotes which insurance will offer it to you and it will be easier for you or cheaper for you to get insurance I highly recommend you to get full coverage even though if you even if you don't add like a lease payoff uh, if like um, a rental for rental and all those additional things you don't add to your um, premium coverage you should be pretty good to go with the collision comprehensive body injury all those important stuff so that in in the case of accident insurance will pay you and you won't you won't lose a lot but the going liability it has uh, higher risks But it is still um, your choice what you want to do if you have a car that costs two thousand dollars and uh, paying a premium to that car is pretty crazy because it doesn't worth it right with that said you guys thank you very much for watching and uh, i hope this video was helpful if it was give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos thank you see you next time bye